hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful kinky coily hair bundle using braiding hair okay so to make the hair weft you will need some pre-stretched braiding hair you can use any color of choice you will need a hairbrush a paper tape and thread to sew the weft so to start cut a little bit of the tape and place it with the sticky side down just like i did in this video so now cut a longer length of the tape so for the longer length you need to place it with the sticky side facing you so you're going to be using the shorter one you cut to secure the long length one to the table just like i'm doing in this video so and also the space between the tape need to be at least one inch wide so once that is done take your hairbrush and brush the hair to make sure it's tangle free before going ahead to place it on top of the tape and also you can arrange the hair on the tape a little by little just taking a little session at a time to place it or uh, and place it on top of the tape we want to make sure that you're lining them correctly making sure that the lengths are lined up co uh, correctly So once that is done, you need to take cut another uh, tape and place it on top, making sure to line the tape up, making sure that the tape is lining up correctly with the one on the bottom. So So right here, I'm going ahead to make sure that the tape are lining up correctly, making sure that the bottom tape and the top ones are lining up correctly. I don't want to sew on the tape. It's not easy to tear off the tape if you sew on it. So you want to make sure to do it correctly so you don't sew on the tape. okay so the next step now is to remove the tape detach the tape from the table to move the uh, the hair to your work space okay so i'm going to take this to my sewing machine to start the process i'm going to be using a twin needle for today's project so this is the second thread right here. So this is the twin needle right here. So this is what I'm going to be using for this quick weft process. So I'm going ahead to remove my single needle and next I'm going to go ahead and replace that with my twin needle so you can use a single needle for this process process if you don't have a twin needle just that using the twin needle kind of cut down the time you spend on sewing the uh, the weft so right now i'm going ahead to thread the second needle okay so once you tried your needle the next step is to take the hair and start sewing So once you get to the end right here, you need to drop your needle down and lift the presser foot up 
okay with the needle down so once that is done rotate the hair just like i'm doing in this video so once that is done place the presser foot down and continue sewing so using the twin needle we cut down the the time you have to spend in sewing the weft because you only need to do about four passes on the weft instead of eight but you also need eight or six rolls of the stitch so if you if you need only six then you only need to do like three passes so what i mean is like you need six roll of uh, six rows of stitch on the um on the weft so you can do this using a twin needle or single needle depending on the one you have you can make this hair weft using any type of um, needle you have So getting to the end, you need to do a back stitch to secure the thread in place before going ahead to cut it. Okay. So once the first step is done, the next step now is to fold the hair in half so you can uh, sew it in place. So just take your time and be careful when doing this. Pay attention to what you're doing. To what, pay attention to what you're doing. Don't sew on the tape. I'm using a single needle for this uh, next step. So like I said, you need to pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, pay attention to what you're doing so you don't sew on the. Uh, on the tape it's not easy taking out the tape if you sew on top of it i tried it and I, it wasn't fun taking it out <laughs> so just pay attention to what you're doing take your time no need to rush it just take your time to make sure you are doing it uh, correctly So again, when starting the, the the sewing process, you need to do a back stitch to secure the thread in place. And when you get to the end, you also need to do a back stitch to secure the thread in place before going ahead to remove it from the sewing machine. So right here, this is how the weft is looking so far. So now that that is done, I'm going ahead to tear off the uh, the tape. It just com it comes off easily if you don't sew on it. So yeah. So next, you need to fold the weft into four, just like I'm doing in this video. So now you need to take some bobby pins and pass the bobby pins through the weft, making sure to pass it through all four uh, uh, folded weft, okay? Pass it through and next take uh, the tape and secure the bobby pin to the table. So now I'm going to be braiding the hair. So this is a process of achieving the kinky coily look on the hair weft. So once once you make the session for the braid, you need to go back in to brush the hair to make sure it's tangle free. Okay. Before going ahead to braid the hair, you need to make sure it's tangle free. So once you make your session, go ahead and uh, braid it. So just braid it all the way to the tip. So the, the, the amount of hair you are braiding will determine the size or the tightness of the coils once you are done. So you can decide to have like tighter coils. So for tighter coils, you have to make a smaller um, braid. For a more loose coils, you need to increase the size of the braid. So for the next step, you will need to add some conditioner. Uh, you need to add hair conditioner to your bowl, to the bucket, whatever you are using, add conditioner to the to that. And next, pour your hot water directly on top. Okay, so next you need to take the braided hair weft and dip it into the hot water. Be careful when doing this, don't burn yourself. 
So once you remove it from the water, dry off the excess water using your towel. And next, you need to lay the weft air dry completely, okay? You need to let it air dry completely before going ahead to unravel the braids. So to unravel the braids, you need to do that using your fingers. Don't use comb, just gently unravel the braids using your fingers. So once you're done unraveling the braids, the next step now is to open up the weft. So you remember you fold it into four, so now you need to unfold it. So you can brush the hair out just like I'm doing right here and also if you need to reduce the volume of the hair after brushing it, all you have to do is to take a water bottle, add in a little bit of conditioner, mix it together and spray it on the hair. So once you're done spraying it on the hair, you need to walk the water into the hair. So this will reduce the volume of the hair and also define the coils as you can see right there. So you can either comb it out or leave it just as it is. So you just have to decide for yourself. The hair feels so soft, like it's really, really soft. And look at this, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. All right, guys. So this is the final result of the Kinky Coily DIY hair bundles or hair weft made out of braiding hair as always if you find this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button down below if you are new to my channel thank you all so much for watching thank you all for subscribing and i'll see you all in my next video